Welcome back with Volcano of the Day, going with Kulumbo in Greece. Submarine volcano, 59 foot elevation below sea level, is dormant, has been since 1650. So, looks like we got this thing here. The hydrothermal vents occur when seawater enters the crust and comes in contact, in contact with the volcano's magma chamber. The hot fluid becomes enriched with minerals and it emerges through the vent. It, when it comes in contact with colder seawaters, its minerals are deposited and create mounds and, uh, and chimneys. Uh, cyanobacteria use the hot water and minerals as an energy source through a process called chemosynthesis. This vent is covered in red, white, and black bacterial mats. Image taken by the ROV Hercules developed by the Institution for Exploration at Columbo Underwater Volcano, located northeast of Santorini in the Aegean Sea, um, image courtesy of the Institute for Exploration, the University of Rhode Island, Graduate School of Oceanography, and URI Institute for Archaeological Oceanography. So, there's that. Now let's get to an actual thing tends to be explosive. Like I said before, it was last erupted in 1650. Columbo, or Columbos, volcano is an active submarine volcano located 8 kilometers northeast of Santorini Island in the Aegean Sea. The volcano forms an, ellipt an elliptical north, uh, southwest and northeast elongated 3 kilometer wide cone with a 500 meter deep and 1.5 kilometer wide crater whose rim highest points rise to about 18 to 15 meters beneath sea level. The crater floor, in particular, in its northern part, contains a large and very active high-temperature fumarole field. The crater of Columbo Volcano is a small caldera, which could have been at least in parts formed during the volcano's only known but least but very violent last eruption, which occurred in 1650 A.D., so more info, if at all possible, links will be in the description box below nonetheless. Um, and we do have background, including that eruption. No recent earthquakes, though. There's the map, horrible excuse for satellite imagery, and actually some recent news. Um, yeah, back in 2021. Alrighty. So we'll get to that in a bit. But first, background. The large hydrothermal field in the northern part of the caldera at about 500 meters depth contains a massive caruco style sulfide deposit. Only few such deposits are known worldwide, and they are of great interest, especially because of the typically high content of gold and silver in the sulfides. In 2010, the, ex the exploration vessel, uh, Nautilus, discovered steep up to 6 meter high chimneys of sulfides above one of the vents. And then we get into details of the 1650 eruption. The 1650 eruption was a very explosive event and ejected pumice and ash as far as Turkey and produced pyroclastic flows that killed about 70 people on Santorini. During the eruption, it constructed a temporary... Huh? Yeah, that's been well known. I just covered that with the severe weather forecast. That's already on the channel. Ch check it out. Um, but yeah, during the eruption, it constructed a temporary island, sent, hence its name Columbo in Greece, swimming. A tsunami occurred as well, probably during the collapse of the cone. It caused damage on nearby islands up to 150 kilometers, or about 93 miles away, and invaded the flat coastal areas, especially on the eastern side of Santorini, where ruins from Roman times were uncovered. The eruption also caused damage. Killed a great number of livestock because of the poisonous gases, mainly H2S. Um, I want to say sulfur uh, some sort of hydro sulfuric acid or something like that. Um, so now for the recent news, because yes, no. Uh, so yeah, there's a moderate earthquake under near that volcano should we worry probably not considering it hasn't erupted since 1650 and it hasn't erupted since that earthquake otherwise we would have known about it but anyways 
This morning, a moderate 4.0 magnitude quake occurred about 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles northeast of Santorini Island. The quake hit at 11.21 a.m. local time. It was felt by many people on Santorini. So I guess if you felt this earthquake, let me know in the comment section below and from where. Um, but yes, yeah, especially in the northern part of the island in the town of Oaya. Mostly as weak shaking that lasted a few seconds. The volcano was preceded and followed by a series of smaller after smaller fore and aftershocks. Um, why would they be considered fore shocks if they're before the if they're after the earthquake? That would be aftershocks. What? Anyways, with magnitudes up to three point four. During the past months, seismic um, activity in this area had become somewhat higher, but the most interesting aspect is likely that the earthquakes occurred very close at or directly under an active submarine volcano located 8 kilometers northeast of Santorini Island with Colombo. It is considered the, the potentially most dangerous active volcano in Greece. This is first because of its underwater setting is capable of triggering tsunamis, and second, because it has the potential to produce large explosive eruptions and did so with its only known eruption in 1650 which devastated Santorini and killed many people and thousands of livestock by, by toxic gases. Large tsunami invaded the island's flat coasts, which, which back then were uninhabited but now quite crowded with hotels and towns enjoying the location of Santorini's famous black sand beaches. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, question here. Um, since it happened under, under the water and only has one known eruption in, in historic times, Colombo is certainly the least known of the active volcanoes in the country, which makes interpreting the potential significance of such earthquakes more difficult. According to a post by Gerasimos Papadopoulos, research director of seismology at National Observatory of Athens, there's currently no signs that the volcano might be becoming restless and remains in its normal dormant state. While earthquakes like today directly under the volcano can be caused by volcanic processes that eventually might proceed to a new eruption, they by no means are necessarily so, and most of the time are purely tectonic in nature, not affecting the state of the volcano. In any case, its status merits close monitoring, a volcano getting restless close to a popular, well, close to popular event is popular Santorini Island, uh, one of Greece's, uh, Greece's main tourist attractions, would certainly not be good news, especially now that the t country is opening, pre preparing to open, and open as tourist season in May, especially considering it's the first time they were able to in like two years, considering COVID. Um, but yeah, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.